How many of you have endured the tragic loss of a loved one during your lifetime? How many of you have thought that just for a moment, it could have been prevented? About four and a half years ago, I received a phone call that would change my life forever. <clears throat> my father had passed away suddenly due to a defibrillator component shortage. I found out later that there were surplus defibrillators two blocks away in a clinic storeroom. But the paramedics had absolutely no way of figuring that out. Several months later, I had a profound realization. This tragedy was part of a much larger systems failure. The sustainability I'd been working on until then just didn't make sense anymore. I was so focused on how things are manufactured, I lost sight of the root of the problem. Who gets access to what resources and when? The problem on a macro level is startling. SMEs, the very arteries to our supply chains, make up more than 90% of the global economy, yet there are barely any resources to equip them for climate and supply chain related shocks. You must be wondering, what does this have to do with the food crisis? Well, as you already know, more than 30% of our food gets wasted somewhere along the supply chain every year. And 23% of our global population faces high levels of food insecurity in 2023. Remarkably, global internet penetration rates are at 65%. More people have access to the internet than nutritious food. As devastating as this sounds, I observed an opportunity to create an inclusive digital solution to reconfigure the system from its core rather than respond to the problem when it's too late. For those who can afford it, Waste is deeply ideological. We, every day, we waste resources, we waste space, we even waste time. We waste because we think we have no other choice. So I wanted to build a solution that gives businesses this choice. So I founded climate tech startup, The Surplus, with two S's. My mission was to help companies thrive, not just survive, by creating visibility over surplus resources that could catalyze radical collaboration by incorporating the most innate component of human nature, sharing. First, I created a new methodology that could help any, categorize, any company categorize their underused but critical resources, spanning from warehouse space, idle assets and machinery, surplus stock, and even knowledge. Then we built a digital platform that could enable businesses to get intelligently matched with other businesses nearby to share, rent, sell, and exchange these resources profitably, cutting through supply chains that would have never worked together before. So within a year, we amassed more than 500 companies on our platform. And last night I received a very shocking phone call that we now have 20,000 companies onboarded through a government contract. <laughs> Thank you. hence why I'm slightly disheveled today. So we also secured a, a provisional US patent uh, proposing a new system for resource sharing, one that is equitable and also commercially viable. In two months, we witnessed the distribution of more than 24,000 meals through a collaborative opportunity between a social enterprise and a small grocer. All they did was intervene before the food expires and reallocate that surplus produce produce in real time to those that need it. This is the impact of a single synergy. Could you imagine what we could accomplish if we replicated this globally? So today marks one year since we commercialized in the UAE and our members have actually saved and made millions of pounds, diverted 1 million kilos from landfill and met the UN SDGs more than 1500 times. We witnessed, oh. <laughs> We've witnessed companies reduce their emissions by 90% and their associated costs. And all they did was identify unexploited local market potential. 
That demonstrates to us that it is possible to create more resilient supply chains by shortening them and engaging in local synergies that have a global impact. Going forward, it is so important that businesses are held accountable based on their progress. Pledges are simply not enough. Window dressing is not enough. We don't have the time. We're proposing a new measurement for sustainability progress that is accessible and affordable for all. Collaboration. Our goal is to partner with governments and large enterprises to support 1 million SMEs, to empower communities and create abundance out of scarcity. Who knows? Maybe the next big synergy is sitting right next to you. Ladies and gentlemen, climate change and the subsequent food crisis is not an environmental issue. It is an existential threat driven by destructive and expensive linear supply chains. To safeguard humanity, we must work together in ways which we have never ever done before. I created the surplus to honor my father, and today I hope it honors everyone that feels loss in any form could be prevented. Our work is not done until we address the root of the problem, not respond when it's too late. Because it is undeniable that the precedent to transformative change starts with granting the right of choice. Thank you.